At least six people were killed as Hurricane Barrel hit islands in the southeastern Caribbean overnight. Now the massive storm is continuing to break records as it nears Jamaica. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Sheree Skipson. And I'm Devin Bartolotta. It's very important to note Barrel is not forecasted to come our way, mm -hmm. but a storm this big this early in the season definitely worth following. Yeah, one of those following this closely is Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin. Chris, is Barrel still on track towards to head towards Jamaica? Yeah, unfortunately, that has not changed. The new information has come out. Winds have stayed the same at 150 miles per hour, but a sign that it is still weakening is that the pressure has increased by about five millibars. So it is weakening, but just painfully slow. And that's what the folks in Jamaica, I'm sure, are thinking, because while it is on track to weaken, it will still either be a strong three or a low end four by the time it looks to be the core of the storm moving directly over the island. It will continue toward the Caymans. Should see the worst of that stay south of the Cayman Islands, but still strong winds, heavy rain, the surge, and then continuing to weaken as it will eventually move into the southwestern Gulf. By this point, though, it will be a far weaker storm. Still packing quite a punch with winds of about 70 miles an hour. It will still be a strong tropical storm, but not nearly the intensity of what it has been through the Caribbean, and this still looks to be on track northern Mexico or the northern northeastern coast of Mexico or into southern Texas as primarily a big rainmaker, but also with the strong winds again, not a threat for 